Hi you guys. So today I thought I would do a review and description of some Lush holiday body sprays and Lush is going to be having four body sprays available for Christmas 2020 and one of them, as I understand it anyway, is going to be available only in a Christmas gift set. So we have Golden Pear Body Spray. Now this has been available from Lush UK for quite some time, for a couple of years, and I really like it. And then also available for a couple of years on Lush UK is the Yog Dog Body Spray. And Here is the Snow Fairy Body Spray, which is what was available last year for Christmas. Then only available in gift sets, as I understand it, is the Celebrate Body Spray. So I'm going to go through all of these. Now first, I'm going to tell you about Yognog Body Spray. So first of all, this is made with clove bud oil, glycerin, water, Elang Elang, and these are the same ingredients that the uh, all of the Lush Yognog products are made with. And basically Yognog smells like kind of a more caramely or more butterscotchy sort of eggnog. You know what eggnog smells like? The eggnog that you drink for Christmas. It's kind of a pale yellow, and it usually has nutmeg sprinkled on the top, and it's sweet and rich, and you drink it as a sort of dessert drink for Christmas. Some people put booze in it, and some don't. So it says on the front, Satisfy sweet and spicy cravings with this butterscotch-scented fragrance, peppered with hints of clove bud oil. <clears throat> so... I have tried all of the Lush Yognog products, including the exclusive ones from Lush UK that Lush USA doesn't get, and I took a picture of all of them, and here that is. So the things that most people want to know about this is does it smell like the original soap? The Yognog soap is the one that came first. And actually the soap they sell today, it's called Michelle Mabel, and that's in the Yognog fragrance. And they sell that in all the stores, but it's soon to be discontinued, <laughs> of course. And there's also a bubble bar, all kinds of stuff. This body spray smells like... Mm. The body sprays smell to me just like the other Yognog products. It doesn't smell, you know, way different to me or anything like that. It smells just as strong as like, you know, the soap or the bubble bar. It's nice. Now I'm going to leave that on my arm and let it dry down because in perfumery you have to let a scent dry down so that you can really see how it sort of translates on your skin. So I'm going to let you know what has changed uh, when it dries down in about five or ten minutes. So that's the Yognog body spray and I'll put the price of this in both the UK price and the US price down below in the description box here of this video. I love the scent. Yognog is one of my favorite scents. Um, I like the way it smells on me. And it's starting to sort of starting to dry down and It is starting to be a little fainter as it dries down, so less strong scented as it, as it dries down. I would rate this a 4 out of 5 rating. 
it doesn't have a lot of throw um, compared to some body sprays like so white body spray it has a lot of throw and um, I would say it's got a sort of like a medium low scent uh, of throw so um, if I put all that together I would give this a 4 out of 5 rating because the smell is nice um, it it's too bad that it weakens a little bit as it dries and um, it doesn't have a lot of throw meaning people um, as you walk through a room will people smell your perfume and I would say this one's probably a no unless someone was really up close <laughs> so there's Yognog I hope that was helpful so I'm going to talk about the Golden Pear Lush Body Spray for Christmas 2020 and Lush has made a few products in the past few years with the Golden Pear scent and I took a picture of all of those products that Lush USA and Lush UK has made a few more of course uh, products in the Golden Pear scent and so here's a picture Now, comparing those products to the body spray, I'm going to go ahead and spray this on my arm. The thing I noticed is that the Yognog body spray has a little blurb right here under the name, and so does the Snow Fairy, and so does the Celebrate but the golden pear doesn't have any <laughs> so excuse my nails they look pretty bad not cute but <laughs> so this is made with cardamom oil Brazilian orange oil and sandalwood oil and it's suitable for vegans and now I'm going to spray this on my right arm mm when it's first sprayed on I love it because it's much brighter and stronger when it's first sprayed on than when it dries down a little bit in about five or ten minutes it smells wonderful it smells very fruity and bright almost effervescent Wow so some of you probably want to know if this smells like the golden pear soap or the golden pear bubble bar and I would say that oops I would say that it does smell like the other golden pear things but only when you first spray it on as it dries down it smells more at least on my skin everybody's chemistry is different but on my skin it smells less fruity and a little bit just a little bit more perfumey so it's a gold pear golden pear scent with a little bit more of a perfumey scent but it smells good <laughs> okay golden pear is another product that I just love uh, for those of you who've seen my other reviews for the other body sprays like the Yognog and and uh, so white and snow fairy um, Yognog and golden pear are my favorites of the four so far so good so let me smell mm, it smells it smells more fresh than the um, Yognog scent. The Yognog scent is more rich and caramely and butterscotchy and warm and the golden pear is more bright and cool and fruity. So far they've both, um, so far the scents have gone down in strength uh, when they dry down then than when you first spray them which all perfumes do that 
Golden Pear uh, does not have a lot of throw. Um, so it's not like, say, So White, in my opinion, Lush's So White body spray has, I would say, the most throw of any of their body sprays. Um, I'm sure there's a couple of others, like Rose Jam is another one who has, uh, which has a lot of throw. And, um, so Golden Pear is sort of medium to medium low on the throw scale. I can really smell the cardamom now that uh, is in Golden Pear, and I happen to love cardamom. Cardamom is a spice, an eastern spice, more or less, and they use it in cooking or baking, and it smells sort of yummy, like, like some kind of dessert. It's wonderful. Now, the scent of Golden Pear changes more on my skin from the original Golden Pear products, more than the Yognog. The Yognog scent changes a little bit from all the other Yognog products, but it still smells like butterscotch caramely goodness, whereas the Golden Pear, it still smells good but it changes a little bit more from the original scent when it dries on my arm. Does that make sense? So, so far, I would say that I would rate this a four out of five rating. And so that is Golden Pear. And let me know how you feel about the Golden Pear products. Do you like the scent of the Golden Pear products or do you not like the scent of the Golden Pear products? Some people don't, some do. I'm, now I'm going to review the Celebrate body spray from Lush, Lush US and Lush UK. And I will put the prices down below in the description box uh, in UK and US dollars and pounds. This is made with water and Brazilian orange oil and glycerin, lime oil and cognac oil, which is brandy and limonene. And it says cognac essential oil brings a festive note to fragrances with an earthy and herbaceous edge, all lifted by a fruity sparkling touch. This is self-preserving and it's suitable for vegans. It says Pop the cork. It's time to celebrate with the sparkling scent of fruity orange, zingy lime, and boozy cognac. Some of you OG Lushies know this scent as the Champagne Snow Showers scent. And they changed the name to Celebrate a few years back. I would say that of the four Yognog, Golden Pear, Snow Fairy, and Celebrate, that Celebrate is the most fruitiest um, scent. And so now I'm going to spray it on the back of my hand. Sorry. Okay. Wow. So those of you who live in Europe, probably know of the soda called Bucks Fizz. It's like um, you make champagne and like um, orange and, and something. That's what it smells like. It's very, it smells to me sort of like grapefruit and lime. Mm. And it has a little bit more throw than the Yognog and about the same kind of throw as the Golden Pear body spray. Hmm. It smells more sort of fresh and clean citrus than the golden pear. Because golden pear and celebrate are both fruity, that's why I'm sort of comparing them for you. Hmm. It smells really nice, sort of like, mm hmm sort of like chilled white grapes, kind of, in a way. And as it dries down, like all the body sprays, as it dries down, it smells less strong. 
I would give this, uh, I would give Celebrate Body Spray a 4 out of 5 rating. It's funny because I'm kind of known for not really a loving Celebrate for the last 20 years. Whenever Lush has made Champagne Snow Showers or anything Celebrate, um, any of the products, I really, I feel like this way, but like I give it a three, like I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. But the, um, but the fragrance, this body spray is nice, actually. So I like it. Um, Lush has another bath bomb this Christmas 2020 called Golden Wonder. And it looks like a gold present. That's made in the Celebrate fragrance. In case you tried that, you will know what the Celebrate fragrance smells like. If you remember what that bath bomb smells like. Um, it has more throw than the other two as it dries down. It has more throw than Yog Dog and Golden Pear as it dries down. But it becomes, on my skin anyway, it becomes a little less sweet as it dries down. So that is the Celebrate Body Spray. And I would rate this a 4 out of 5 rating. Now I'm going to review the Snow Fairy Body Spray for Christmas 2020. And it says this, is, this has glycerin and synthetic musk in the fragrance. Um, naturally they don't use real natural musk because you have to kill the muskrat in order to get the musk. Traditionally that's what perfumers did to get the musk scent in the fragrance. But Lush of course doesn't want to do that because they're against cruelty to animals. So they use synthetic musk in the Snow Fairy. It says spritz yourself with a little spritz yourself with a little bit of magic and wrap yourself in a cloak of candy floss and bubble gum. No fairies were harmed in the making of this spray. A couple of sprays of this will transport you to your favorite sweet shop whenever you feel like it. So it's kind of like they're saying a cross between candy floss, which is cotton candy to those of us in the U.S., and bubble gum. And it says in the front, just the thing for fairies, pixies, imps, and magical creatures of all kinds who need a sugary sweet pick-me-up. Now, I'm sort of known also <laughs> for not loving Snow Fairy. Um, I don't hate it um, like I do some Lush products. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Um, Lush has made a bunch of products over the last 20 years in the Snow Fairy fragrance. And um, I only like a handful of them for some reason. Um, to me, it's a little too much, um, a little too sweet and, you know, kind of like that. But that said, I'm going to smell this as if I've never smelled Snow Fairy before. So I'm spraying it on the top of my arm this time. Ooh. <laughs> so as far as throw, <laughs> Snow Fairy has a lot more throw than the other three uh, body sprays this Christmas. It smells like something sweet and pink. It's also got this sort of like very sort of clovey um, scent, almost a spicy scent. And um, it smells very much like the Snow Fairy fragrance, so it doesn't deviate too much from the actual Snow Fairy, other Snow Fairy products that you enjoy. And I'm going to let this dry down just a little bit. And so normally I would 
rate Snow Fairy a three out of five um, in any Snow Fairy product because, as I say, I don't hate it. You know, I, I'm not going to give it a one or a two, but it's not my favorite. It's I have to be really in the mood because it's very strong and it's very sort of young. You know what I mean? Like, like if I was a a young girl, um, I might like it a little bit more. Does that make sense? I tend to like florals and foodie bakery type scents and um, some spicy scents, earthy, incensey. So it's staying pretty true to its scent as it dries down. It's getting a little less strong as it dies, die, dries down, um, like all the other body sprays. It does reduce in its potency. It still has a little bit more throw than the other body sprays from Lush, even as it dries down. I would say of the four Christmas body sprays, the Celebrate and the Snow Fairy are longest lasting on the skin. And the Yognog um, is next as far as la lasting, la long lasting scent on the skin as it, after it dries down. And then Golden Pear is last. So I hope that helps. And thanks so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon on the next video. Bye-bye.